Hi, Kevin Lovers. Welcome to this session of Scoop School, broadcasting around this wonderful planet of ours from St. Louis, Missouri. Couple of reminders if you're watching this very close to its publication date. The NICRA show, biggest ice cream and uh, trade event in the US, is happening 7th, 8th, 9th of November in Orlando, Florida. ConeCon 2021. Go and check it out. I'm telling you, it's one of the biggest ice cream events on the US calendar. If you're even interested in getting into the ice cream business, if you're in the ice cream business, really do need to go. ConeCon2021.com. Madeline, let's put the link down below. Okay, let's put another link down below. Or is that more? Yeah, that's what it is. Purdy Products. Purdy Products, Paul Hussmuller and the crew up there, family owned business, uh, they make cleaners and sanitizers for your machine. If you're in the business, you've more than likely seen the little white and green packets. What does it do, Steve? Well, it's a cleaner, it's a sanitizer, it's a cleaner and a sanitizer. Uh, okay, well, where can I find out more information? Well, I mean, the link's down below, like we said earlier. Anyway, bit of shenanigans there. Uh, we do want to thank them for our episode sponsorship. Great product. We clean and sanitize all of our equipment down here with green label Sterachine. Okay, let's talk a little bit about brushes while we're talking about cleaning. Shing! <laughs> we love the shing here. Respect the shing. Uh, this is a barrel brush. We've actually done uh, a video years ago now about barrel brushes. Why don't we link that down below as well, Madeline? A lot of linking down below. That'll be down there as well. These are an example of brushes that the manufacturers actually send to you when you're buying equipment. Now, if you bought a used piece of equipment and it didn't have the brushes with it, you really should get either the brushes from the manufacturer or uh, buy a replacement brush that actually gets into all those crevices. Let me show you what I mean. This is the front plate of an Electrofreeze two barrel twin twist soft serve machine. And so you've got a lot of these crevices here. This is what the customer sees. This is on the back of the unit. So when these plungers push out, you're gonna need a larger brush to clean them out. But inside the back of this unit, you've got these smaller holes here that actually provide for airflow within the front plate so that both barrels can mix well in the center spigot. So you've got smaller holes in here, you've got holes along the side here. They all need to be brushed out at the end of the day or when you're cleaning the machine. Same way when you're taking these um, uh, uh, O-rings off, you need to make sure that they all come off and give this a good scrub down. This is where a lot of bacteria lies within these crevices inside the front of your machine. Now, you could be a soft serve machine, it could be a custard machine, it even could be a batch freezer. But if you've been given brushes, you you really do need to use them. Now we keep these on just small hooks near the sink, so they're always there ready to go. When we're cleaning the front and parts of the machine that need brushing, we just take them straight off the wall, get them in here, nice into those crevices, make sure it comes out the other side, and you've got a nice, clean and healthy machine. Don't leave just plunging this front plate into your uh, wash, rinse, and sanitizer sink, and hopefully that milk fat, butter fat solids will come off there, they generally don't. Got to use these brushes. It's really, really important because all you need to do is have your state ag department or a uh, health department or even a customer take a portion of your ice cream and take it to be tested down at the local laboratory. It's happened before. And if that happens and your bacteria count is too high, you could risk being shut down all because you didn't actually brush through the crevices on this or whatever uh, model machine you have. Can't stress that enough. Use the brushes. If you don't have them, get some uh, and always look at the manufacturer's instructions, the manual, the website to make sure you're cleaning this as best as it can be. Again, simple principle, but maybe a couple of you out there are thinking, hmm, we don't use the brushes like we should. Thank you again to our episode sponsor, Sterachine. And if you have a question, conundrum, problem uh, about the ice cream industry, we'd like you to leave a little bit of a comment down here. If you like the video, leave a little comment down here. Click like, hit subscribe, and while you're clicking and whacking all around the screen, this is the subscribe button here. This is a pretty good video I think you should watch, and this, this takes you straight to scoopschool.com. Keep on scooping, see you in the next video.